Hi, today we are going to learn about the input devices for disabled people. By the end of the lesson, you will get to know about the different kinds of devices for disabled people and the functions of the devices. People are diverse. Some people are not able to use the standard devices that you or I use in everyday life. And so, devices have been specially developed to allow for these differences. Some disabilities mean that the input devices themselves need to be placed at convenient locations for the person. For example, someone with physical problems may need to have the input devices close by. The first device I want to tell you about is a puff and suck switch. As you see in the picture, it is excellent for someone with limited physical mobility. You simply suck or puff down the tube in order to activate a switch. The switch itself is connected to the computer and a specific software running on the computer can take this input and act on it in any certain way. The second device is a foot mouth. A foot mouth can be used by a person who has limited or no use in their upper arm. The foot mouth can be used to navigate through software programs and select things in much the same way as a conventional mouth. Most foot mouth is consisted of two segments. One segment will be used to control the cursor, and the second segment is used to click the mouse or to select shortcuts. Most foot mouse include straps that help to hold the device in place on the foot during use. A long cable runs from the mouse and plugs into a computer such as a USB port. The next device is an eye typer. This can be used by people who cannot use a hand or a foot, operated mouse, and conventional keyboard. A camera is mounted onto the computer and it is set to focus on the user's eye. The camera determines where the user is looking and monitor movements made by the eye. Mouse clicks are done with a slow eye blink. The fourth one is a Braille keyboard. A Braille keyboard is a specialist input device that allows the user to type and enter the text or instructions for the computer in Braille. This device is especially for disabled people who know Braille, such as the blind people. The last one is a microphone that we know. A microphone can be useful for people who find it difficult to use a keyboard or a mouse. People can say their input out loud and specialist software can be used to convert the speech into text. This text can be displayed on the screen or used in different kind of situations. A sure question, which is not an input device for disabled people among these five pictures? The answer is number four because number four is a braille printer which is an output device not an input device for the disabled people.